Okay, so welcome to this part four. Now on this part four, you will be learning how to insert story and also how to create your gallery slab on this software portal structure. Okay, so right now, as you can see that on the part two, we did what? We, on the part three, we did what? Which is the beam insertion, slab insertion, and also how to import your drawing into the software portal structure. So on this part four, we are going to insert story and then also um, create our gallery slab, which is the step slab that we have on this side and also on this side here. Okay, so right now, now begin to um, insert your story first. You have to come to this place that says what building set out here, and then come here and then click on what insert story. Okay, now since if you check on our tree here, we we already have story one active. But no other story here. So right now, I'll have to put on story two because this is just a one story building. As you can see on our card file. Okay, so right now, click on this place here and then say OK. Now, on this OK right now, you, you, you're going to see that we now have story one and story two. Now, go back to our plan view, plan view of story one. Now, if you now go and check on story two here, you will see that this story two is just empty we only have just our grid line as you can see that right now so right now to now copy our what we have here which is the column and the and, and the beams onto this story too you have to now that's what they call story generation so right now i'll have to now generate story so i'll make for it to now generate story you must make your story one active which is the story that you are copying from so you must make this source story which you are copying from active so right now since we are going to copy from um, from story one to copy our beam and, and, and our slab onto this story two to now make it a roof beam. So right now we have to now make story one active here and then go to this thing that says what building set out and then go here that says what generate story. Okay, and then you can now see that we have source story and what target story. So our source story right now is what story one. We will have all our beams, column, and slab story one. And then the, the target story which we are going to copy into is what story two. So I'll come here right now and click on what story two. Okay, so right now, which, which, uh, which, what I'm saying right now is that copy the beams and columns from panel from story one onto story two. But right now, since we are doing a roof beam and this is just a one story beam, and also we don't want to use a concrete roof slab. So right now, I'm going to um, check check out or uh, on on check everything about slab here on check slab and leave just column and beams as you can see there and then i'll come here right now and then click on what okay so by okay right now you will see that it, it will show here process completed until you see this don't close don't don't click on close so right now since i've seen this right now i'm not gonna say what close so on this right hand on, on this now you can see that we now have story one which have slab and beams as you can see there and then story two which just have only what the beams and slab so if you now go and check on our 3D view here, 3D view here, you will see that what we now have here is what, as you can see there, we have what, this, this, is now, this now becomes the ground floor, and this now becomes what, the first floor, as you can see this area here, first floor, and this now becomes the roof level, which these are the roof beam to carry what, to carry the, uh, to carry the roof, okay? So right now, back to our plan view again of, of story two. Now, on this our story two, now, if you now go and check on our card file, which we have here, on our card file here, which you have under this place here, the card file here, you will see that, let me just minimize to see our card file. Minimize this first, to open our card file just now. You will see that on our, on, on our card file, you can see that, on this card file now, we have already done all this uh, modeling here, showing the beams and column and all that. So right now on our card file, we will not now see, we have a cantilever here, as you can see that. We have a cantilever slab here, as you can see the cantilever around this point here. Let, let it, I'm coming, it's just loading. It's trying to load up. Okay. It's coming up. It's coming up. Sorry. It's coming up. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So right now on our card file now, you can now see that 
we have what we have a cantilever slab here as you can see that and also on this last side to so cantilever slab also on the uh, on, on this side and the cantilever slab here is what 1275 and also on this side also we have cantilever slab of what of um nine three nine three five okay so right now let's now go and um effect that changes now so minimize this now and then open our car on our software again sorry not the card file again the software and then on the software now we have to now go to what story one because that's where we have our cantilever slab so we have cantilever slab from this point here all the way down to this point here yeah i think here yes yeah yes on this place here so right now let's now go and put in the cantilever slab now to have to put your cantilever slab you have to come to this place here that says what concrete member and then come to here that says what slab here and on this slab now you have to come to this place now that says what put in your depth of slab 150 as normal and then come here now and say type click on this place that says type and choose type 12 type 12 is for cantilever slab okay leave all that slab as default and just choose type 12 okay now on this type 12 now this place here that says l can simply means length of cantilever and then come here right now and then put in our first length here which is here which is a um, 935 okay and then once you put in your length of cantilever come here on on this load now and then come to this place here which says parapet load knowing that the cantilever edge is going to carry a wall load at that point so right now and the wall load is given by 9.81 this is the wall load standard if you're using a wall thickness of 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 a 225 or 230 at a height of three meter so this is the standard wall load or you can choose 10 point 10 points um, 90 but I'll say that you should choose 9.81 because there are some things that are being touched on this area okay so this is now my wall load now I'll now come to this place now to now insert your cantilever slab click on this point here and then click on the next column here and then click outside okay so this is now our cantilever slab this this arrow that you're seeing here simply means that this cantilever slab has a load so if you don't see this arrow here and this x sign on at the edges here that means that that cantilever does not have a load so right now this means that this antenna is now what loaded okay so right now let's now go here and then click on this place here points here so make sure you put your slab close the column so right now again from here to here and then click outside so again right now again now click on this column right now click on this column again right now and then click outside okay and then come again right now click at this point and click at this point now click outside now on the cantilever uh, on this side right now has a different length of one two one two seven five okay that's fine seven five so i'll come again right now and then click on this point and click on this point and outside okay and then click at this point and this point and click on outside okay that's fine and then click on what escape key so right now for this place now to not flush together like this you have to come to this to back to this slab I click on it and then see properties and then see what updates for it to flush to have a what uniform shape come here and then see what updates okay it now flush okay, okay that's fine so if now go and check on our 3d view just now you cannot see what we have just done so far you can see that we now have a cantilever slab here as you can see that just now having also a load as you can see the load now on it as you can see that just now as you can see it just now this is now the load on the cantilever edge as you can see that okay and also on this side too has a load as you can see then just there having a cantilever slab having a load on the cantilever slab edge okay that's fine so right now back to our plan view just now so we have just done the cantilever area session right now so again right now on this our story two right now knowing that we don't have slab here on this story two we will have to remove what the depth of slab from this slab from, from this beam depth of 450 so our beam depth now for the roof will now have to be 300 if you subtract the depth of slab which is not here on this level so first of all i'll have to remove first of all again i'll have to remove these beams because i don't want this beam to carry the roof so these beams here is just useless on this other floor it is only very very useful on the ground floor we will have the gallery slab so i'll remove all the all these beams here around this point here and also here by using my control key to just select all the beams hold my hold my control key down and select all the beams which i want to delete and then escape on the key right now then right click now and then all right click here and then say what well, delete okay that's fine and then say okay only the beams so right now again right now just now i don't want to have 
this other one here this this column here should should also be removed i don't want this column here at this point so i'll have to okay first of all let's now go and check on our card file what we have on the card file first before we can now, okay let, let's just check first for what we have now on our 3db first 3db first okay so this is now what we have just done on the 3d view by first of all taking off this um this beam that that is here on this floor here on this roof level here so right now on our roof level let's not gonna reduce the depth of this beam from 450 millimeter to what 300 because there, there is no slab on the roof level here so right now i'll go to my story 2 right now on, on my story 2 now i'll have to click on the beam here on the beam this place here I click here and then say what summary table to see all my beam all my beams for the for on this floor i go to my head button here hit this head button here click on this place here and then click at this pencil icon here and paper and then change my new depth and type my new depth here as 300 and then say what okay it will change now automatically now all the depth of the beam on that story two floor because there is no slab there okay so right now all the beams have changed to 300 as you can see that right now and then click on what close and then come here back to our plan view now on this story two and confirm that and you can see that all our beams now is now what 300 depth as you can see that was now and also on this side here also that's fine so right now Let's now go and check out now what we have on our CAD file before we can now begin to now begin to slope this beam to start begin to now model what how this how this slab how this level here is meant to look like. Let me just show you that. Okay, how this slab level now is meant to look like. Okay, so right now on our CAD file, on our CAD file now, on the CAD file as you can see the CAD file just now we have to shift. We have to. Um, terminate this 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 beam these columns first on the first floor as you can see that because on our part two when we, 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 we did our 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 superimpose we now saw that this column here is is in trying to cause obstruction and also because of that and liver that we have that's that this 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 beam here this beam on this line shifted onto this on 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 onto this cantilever face here that is why you're having these changes here okay so we are going to also make that changes also on the second floor so let's go and do just that now and then minimize this right now and then open up our software now and then sorry not this one open up the potential software right now okay so on this side now let's now go back to our plan view of on, on story 2 plan view come here and then say plan view okay on story 2 okay and then come here again right now let's now go and offset that value just now so that value offset remember the length of that of, of that offset let's now go and check it out from the center line of the grid which is here which is here yeah along this place here so this gives us what from grid to to the cantilever edge that gives us for from here to here that gives us what that gives us um 1050 on this side as you can see that just now and then on this side now from um dimension again from center line of this place to this place here that gives us 390 so let's now go and affect that offset of our grid line so how to now offset a, a an axis or a grid line on this software you have to click on the on the axis first right click and then say what offset and then you have to show the di direction of how you want to offset it as you can see there right now if you're going backward that means they're going backward but right now the cantilever is on this face right now so do not type in your distance press your function f2 key press your function f2 key and then type in your distance which in this case 1050 and then i'll type enter key on my keyboard and then we have just done our first offset here as you can see that and then go over here again right now to offset this one which is three three one three seventy at yeah that's that what i want to have click here right now and then offset this right now which is press again it do not type my distance right now i'll press my function f2 key so press your function f2 key on your keyboard so f2 key and then type since i'm going down without since i'm going downward i'll put minus sign and type 1370 and then i type what enter let's confirm that if that is what we have as this place here 1370 let me check again 
confirm that again right now okay no we have one play night okay that's that's fine so escape now and back to our software and just right click now and then take this off and do it again right now one play 90 and then back to this place right now and then press your function f2 key to, to type in your distance and then minus 1390 and then what enter key and that's fine so right now we have a we will have to have a cantilever beam here to be able to carry the beam that we will put here so right now i'll have to click on this place here that says beam this icon here and then come here and then click on this point here and on this point here that shows my cantilever beam cantilever beam simply means that you have a, once, once you see this arrow, this uh, this this triangular symbol here, it means that that beam is a what can deliver beam, okay? And now go here right now and say was escape key, and do the same thing again for this other one again. So, but first of all, right now let's go and check the columns that we are going to remove first. So right now on our card file, on on the card file first, let's see the columns that we are going to remove from this floor, from the card file now, from this card file here. You can see that we with this this column. Which is sorry not this one this column here all the column within this place here from here to this other point here is to be removed which is um one two three four five is to be is to be removed because they are they are going to terminate on the slab okay because on this first floor here they, they are causing obstruction to, to the people using this building okay so right now back to our cut or our software and then which is this other one here i'm going to remove this column one two hold my control key to select to to, to now make a what multi selection hold my control key down and then click on this and then come again right now and then click on this and on this okay that's fine and then right click and then say what delete so with this right now automatically i'm going to remove first of all all the beams now on this other face here I'll remove this beam again, remove the hold my control key, remove this beam. So I can choose to hold, I can choose to do a multi-selection like uh, selection by holding my control key down and select all the beams and the remove and then right click and say what delete. Okay, delete button. Okay, that's fine. And say yes, just the beams. So right now we have to now begin to now create a new beam now on this axis here. So click on beam icon here. And then come here and then insert the cantilever beam to carry this here now on this point now i'll have to now um insert a new column here which i just removed my column so i'll have to insert a new column here so on this place now i'll have to come here complete member and then go here that says what column okay i'll use a column size of what treated by by 230 on this side and then come here and then insert my column points here okay and come again here now i want to make this column now to flush to flush so i'll come here and then change to this other direction here and then say update it will now flush with the grid line with the cantilever edge okay that's fine and then come here again right now click let me see what we have before let me go and check on the on the story one what we have story one we have a column here. let me see on story one what to have yes there's a column here and also on grid line s4 there's a column here s4 and then x6 okay x6 and then okay s4 and s is first and then x y7 okay so back to this place now and then let's go and put on x4 x and y7 so click on back on this column here if i click and say properties just now and then come again just now go to s4 and put a column there at this point and then x6 and put a column here at this point and then go to y7 also and put a column here at this point but first of all make, make it to flush you can see that it's not flushing well so come here click on this right now and click on this point here and then say update okay that's fine so right now let's now go on what click on this place here that says escape okay we also have to insert a okay no 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 one here and then escape this here first and then remove this beam automatically here just delete the beam take it off by using delete delete button or delete here and then let's now go and insert the cantilever beam around this point here first click a beam now to insert here to here okay that's fine and then now from here right now to this point here a beam but right now let's make the beam now to flush with the with the cantilever edge which is this which is this um 
axis of C and then come here, click come here right now and choose this one here and then say update. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so right now I can see that our beam now is now flushing. So this, this is how to flush a beam on this software. So right now again, I'll have to um, create another, put, put another column here at this point here. First of all, I'll have to go and first of all say escape first, escape again. And then come here and click on this point here, this column here, right click and say clone property to pick that clone property right now. And then I'll now come here, change it to this and then make it to flush to align with this kind of shape because I was going to put this column at this edge here. Okay, that's fine. So right now, I'll now have to now go, go to my beam here, click on this beam property right now to make it to flush the same way as the other one is flushing. Click on this property and then click from this point here to, to this point here. Okay, that's fine. And then also from here to here. But right now, okay, that's fine. It is also flushing that, that, that's okay. And then from here again to this point now. And then from here again to this point now. And then from here again to, to this point now, which is the final one here. Okay, that's fine. And then come here and then click on what escape key here. And then escape again. Okay, that's fine. So right now, we now have now we um, we insert these beams now to 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 anchor itself on this column here. So I'll have to remove this this column again. This sorry, this beam here, and then click on this beam to take. Also remove this one also, and then click on this one right now. Right click here and then click on this because right now I'm trying to draw or uh, insert the roof beams. So and click on this. Come here and make it to be first of all centralized again and then click on this here okay, that that's okay and then i'll also have, I'll have to remove this other one here so i have to remove this um this other one here by clicking on this and say delete and again click on this and right click and say delete delete and then come again here click on this right click and say what delete delete and then here again and click here this is also, also here delete member and then delete also this other one here and delete so right now let me again insert my new beams now to flush with the, with the columns now so click on the beam here and check your settings if they are still the same depth as as you want it and then go here right now and then click on this and then click on this point here okay escape once and then come again here click here and click here and escape once and then click again here and then click here and escape once and then click here okay here again I, no, I, I, here basically i wanted to have yeah this is okay but i choose to have this one here this this one is more stronger in connection and then remove this other one here i can choose to remove this here yeah this other beam here okay that's fine and then that that's okay and also remove this one here too that's fine okay so right now we have now removed we have done the changes that we have on this other side here sorry let me just close this one there and then maximize this and then close nice so we have done these changes that we have here on this area here you can see that how we have modeled this area as we have it on this place okay that's fine so right now back to what we are doing just now again and back to this place again just now sorry here okay that's fine so on this place now, right now, you can now see that what we have just done, if not check on our 3D view just now, you can now see that um, back to our 3D view here, which is click on this place now, or click on this place here, and the right and see what 3D view. And then you will see that this, you can now see that how we have done our shape here, and see the shape that, that we have just done so far now for this other side, and see the shape here, can't leave our beam carrying, okay? So right now, you can see that basically, these columns now that we, that we, um, added is not sitting directly on the slab, which is not good because column is a point load and it is not good to have a point load on a slab, else it, 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 it might punch through the slab and also this software doesn't allow you to put a column directly on the slab. So right now we are going to create a beam directly under each of the columns which we just created this the columns that we just inserted now so that there will be a, a beam here can be to carry the column here and also here and also here and then also at this point here and then also at um, this point here yeah so right now back to our plan view now which is on story one which is on story one so right now story one now let's now and put in the cantilever beams now on i think we have cantilever beam on s2 
S4 and then X6, okay? So right now, go to the beam here and then come here just now and then click on this place here and then in click on this place here. That puts now a cantilever beam to carry that column. So if you now go and check on this place here, you can now see that this story too now, this column that is on this point, which is um, here now, it's not, it's not going to sit, sit directly on the beam, which is here and not on the slab again, okay? So right now, take the beam right, this beam property right now, and then continue again. So first of all, make this beam to be 450, 450, and, and update first, because that's a floor beam, and also, and also it's also carrying a point load of column. So right now, go here again on S4, and do the same thing again, because we have a column coming to, to this point here from the story two, and escape once, and then go again, go again on S6, and do the same thing again now from here to here, okay? And escape again, and then go again right now. On this place now, we will have to apply what they call angular or inclined, sorry, angular um, um, beam. So right now, come here, click on this, and then click at this point here, okay? Sorry. First of all, we'll have to remove this slab before we're gonna insert that, okay? So right now, let me just escape that first, and then come here and put this one here again from here to here. Okay, and then that's all we have. So if now go and check on our 3D view first of all, 3D view now, first of all, you will see what we have. Okay, so you can see that this beam, this column right now is not it's not going to sit directly on the cantilever beam and, and, and no more on the slab, which is not perfectly okay, as you can see that just now. So we have also done this other one here, as you can see this one also. We have sorry, we have done this other one here also, sorry. This is that one here, which is um, this, sorry, this side, yeah, this other side too. Also having a column here, which is sitting directly on the beam. As you can see that this and this and this, I can't leave a beam carrying this column and this column and this column here. Okay, that's fine. So right now, let's now treat on this other one here, which, were, which was failing to, to, to insert this beam here. So back to our plan view now again on story one. Now, to not impute an inclined beam here, most of the times it takes time to impute that inclined beam. So you have to use a trick to, 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 to put that. So first of all, right now, I have to remove this slab first. When I take up that slab now, I'll have to now um, make this one first. Come here, click on this and say what properties again, and say update first, update, okay. And then come here and say beam. I click here and then say what? Property of that beam and come here, click on this and then insert this now. Okay, that's fine. And then I'll now come here and then click on this. Then now, first of all, again, take this one off. Okay, let me now click on this slab first. If I click and then come here and say property and then insert my canvas slab here. Although it, it will give us an error that this slab is trying to work overlap with this beam because it will try to draw that 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 a sharp edge so let, let me just insert first you see that error will come out just now okay so if now go here and then say update this let's just see if that error will come out if it didn't come out then that's nice update this now by going to updates okay that's fine it didn't show okay so but most of the times most of the times you see that kind of error that the slab is trying to what overlap with the beam so right now if now go and click on escape and then go all the way down here um 3d view here and then you will now see that this is now what we have now during the construction they can choose to um um chamfer this beam and get the right shape of it as you can see that just now okay so right now let's now go on and move on to what we have now so we have just done what we have now instead of story and then made the story and then try to change some things that are that how it is on the card file as let me just turn off my grid line just now and then you cannot see what we have just done so far. You cannot see that we did perfectly this design. So right now, on the next story, sorry, on the next part, which is the part five, I'll show you how to now model this gallery slab, which is very, very important for this building, okay? So right now, we are done with this part four, which is now to insert story and also model this first floor level, okay? So right now, on the part, on the part, um, on part five, I'll show you how to um, model this this um, this gallery slab. So right now we are done for this part four. Now now watch out for the next just now. Bye.